Weather forecast now the weekend is here, but it's also bringing some cold temperatures. Kevin. Yeah, it is going to get off to a pretty chilly night outside. Chilly start to the weekend for sure. We've got the high school football games around the area tonight. You will want to bundle up for those. Last night we did manage to get down into the middle 30s, but it was only for about an hour or so. Tonight's going to be colder and temperatures could be a couple of degrees colder than they were this morning. So with that said, the entire tri state blanketed underneath some type of cold weather headline for tonight, whether it be a frost advisory and or a freeze warning. Basically, folks outside of the 275 loop to the north or in a freeze warning, better shot at getting those temperatures down there to the freezing mark. And then basically from the metro or Hamilton County south and west, temperatures more likely to get close to freezing but not quite that low, but low enough that there will likely be widespread frost conditions. That said, overnight lows tonight, low to mid 30s area wide for the area underneath mostly clear skies. So yes, this will probably be the official end of the growing season. So if you have any type of sensitive vegetation or plants that you're trying to hang on to a little bit longer here, maybe into early November, you'll want to act to protect them tonight. Otherwise, they could be damaged from the cold. So here we are, chilly weather. Skies are clear out there, lots of sunshine. Weather good guy in charge of our weather tonight. Going to keep things nice and dry. There are a few clouds drifting by to our north. These clouds, though, are going to thin out, and I don't think they're going to have a significant impact on the chilly weather we'll have or see overnight tonight. So with that said, I'm only going with fair tonight because soon as the sun goes down, those temperatures will turn chilly in a hurry out there. So you'll need a jacket or sweater. Saturday looks great. Sunday looks great. Looks like chances for rain increase, though, for much of next week. So outside right now on this chilly October, more like feeling like at least November afternoon. 56 at the airport. Look at that dew point around 20. The air is very dry. It's like being out in the desert. So the sun helped warm us up today. But again, as soon as the sun goes down after about 7, 730 there, temperatures will have no problem slipping quickly. You can see it's 54 in Mason, double nickels in Springboro, 56 in Wilmington, Maysville coming in at 57, 55 in West Union. You're only 53 out there in Batesville and 55 around Versailles. Within the 275 loop, Kenwood at 59, Hyde Park 58 in the low 50s on the west side out there in Dale High as well. So here's your 12 hour forecast. And again, we're in the 50s until the sun goes down. But once that happens, temperatures drop like a rock here tonight and we'll coast our way down into the low to mid 30s before the sun comes up tomorrow. So some of those clouds you can see scoot by here early this evening. Otherwise, quiet, lots of sunshine tomorrow. It'll be a breezy day with southwest wind. So a nice recovery, about a 30 degree jump from morning to afternoon. Saturday night will be much milder as we see some clouds drift by and Sunday again as promised looking dry during the day, but will cloud up Sunday evening for some rain overnight Sunday. So clear and cold frost in the freeze conditions 33 by morning tomorrow. Cool sunshine, nice and breezy 63 for your high. There's a look at your day planner starting out on the cold and in some cases frosty side and then kind of thawing out throughout the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. There's your rain Sunday night into Monday. Stephen, a lot of folks have been hoping for a little more rain. They may get their wish there Sunday night into Monday and overall again next week there will be more changes with a front in our vicinity. But right now let's go with mild and wet versus kind of cold and wet at this point. Okay, Kevin.